Hey y'all, thanks for stopping by. So yesterday, last night, was the first presidential debate of the 2024 election cycle. We had Joe Biden face off against Donald Trump in a heated debate moderated, I use that word loosely, by CNN. And it went probably the way you expected it to go. If you hadn't watched the debate, you plan on watching it today, fair warning, if you're the type of person who gets sad when you see an old man in a diner eating soup by himself, you're probably going to be sad by the end of this debate. It was a spectacle, to say the least. Uh, Joe Biden had one job last night to prove to the half of the American population who believes he cannot form a coherent sentence in the quite literal sense of the phrase that he can do that, and he didn't. He had great ideas, I would say, but the fact that he couldn't articulate them, that he dawdled off with some of the things he was saying, his raspy voice seemed like he was trying to channel Robert Kennedy, you know, even though he wasn't on the debate stage, we all heard the brain worms. All of that aside, as bad as his performance was, Donald Trump did nothing on stage but tell lies. You know, the first thing that caught my attention, that I had to laugh the pain away and joke about it, was the afterbirth abortions line. That he said, the DNC, the Democrats, want women to be able to have abortions after the child's born. That's just murder. It's not an abortion. But that sort of rhetoric is what we've come to expect from Trump. These hyper-embellishments, these flat-out lies. And any good debate stage, any good moderation staff, would have fact-checkers on hand to stop people who are saying just ridiculous, abhorrent things and correct the situation. CNN did do this after the fact. Of course they did, you know. Two hours after everybody's turned off their screens, they go through with a fact checker and point out all the blatant lies that Trump told on stage. But at that point, it doesn't matter. You know, in all honesty, debate doesn't really change too many minds. If you look at the actual poll results that came out after the debate was done, you have something like less than 20% of people who say that the debate even changed their mind at all. Well, 15% said reconsidering, some 4 or 5% said it did, and then the rest are the same way they were. Debates mean nothing about the ideas that are being shared. It's all about performance and the way that you're presenting them. Donald Trump did not present any real substance when he was on stage last night. It was lies. It was slander. It was... The thing that really trips me out is that you had to wait for the debate moderator to bring up January 6th. To me, that would have been a slam dunk for Joe Biden and the DNC. But for whatever reason, they chose to not do that. They chose to, I guess, attempt to be proud and stand tall, take the high road against someone like Trump, but it backfired on them massively. And now you have an outcry of people who want Biden to step down. Well, you have an outcry of people who are finally getting on the bus with what most leftists have been saying since 2019, that Joe Biden is not a good representative for what the will of the American people want, and that we want somebody who is a better representation of us. Personally, I have no allegiance to Joe Biden. My political career has always been one of consider the most disenfranchised person you know and vote in their interest. And that's why through every election cycle I've been able to participate in, I have voted for the Democrat Party. It has nothing to do with who's in the chair. It really has to do with everything that the opposition wants to do while they're in the chair. And unfortunately, this year is no different, you know. Everything that you've heard people say about Project 2025 and what the GOP has planned for the future of the country, they're not exaggerating about that. And it's a shame that we have to use what their plans are rather than what the DNC is doing. Because they're terrible at their own messaging. Most of the good things that Biden's administration has done while they've been in office the last few years hasn't even been mentioned by people. I don't know what their malfunction is with being able to prove their track record. Instead, they shamble a corpse on stage to fight against another old man about who's a better golfer. It's a real disappointment. 
I'll be honest. And if the DNC does choose to replace Joe Biden as the candidate, I think that might be their best choice. I think that would probably sway some of the more conflicted voters. But again, I don't think this debate is really going to, you know, 2016, Hillary won all of her debates outright. Nobody can deny that, but she's still lost. It has so little to do with the substance of what is being said and about the performance that was done. And I don't think anybody can approve of Joe Biden's performance last night. But we really have to see what normal people have to say about all this, not pundits, not people who are extremely plugged into the internet. So, I don't know. Ask your coworkers today. Ask the most normal, grilling, football-watching person you know what they thought. And I guess maybe that'll give you a better idea. But, you know, we've got four months until the actual election happens. So, the DNC can make some choices to improve their footing in the upcoming election. Will they do that? I don't know. We still have to see what they decide. And I guess until then, I'll be sweating along with you and suffering through it. So, I guess just try and keep your head up. And until then, I'll try to have a good day.